I look forward to a future where humans colonize space, when we come together as communities and find new ways to relate to each other and to our environment, where we develop a deeper appreciation of our environment and how we can work together to sustain ourselves and future generations. Um, a large part of that for me as a physician is health stabilization. How can we leverage exponential technologies to maintain our health so that we don't have to come back to our planet of origin in order to be healthy or regain our health or rehabilitate ourselves? An excellent example of that is something very basic and simple, such as skin care or gum care. Um, that can be a challenge over a long period of time, but we have technologies now that can bioengineer uh, different organisms. So I foresee possibly an example where we might be able to bioengineer some kind of microbe that can serve to similarly, just like you see underwater with fish and some of the smaller um, aquatic types that just really swim along with them and kind of keep them clean. Maybe we could bioengineer some kind of space microbe that could either be um, capable of uh, kind of cleansing our skin of debris, um, of its own drying and shedding, and to keep our gums clean and healthy as well from plaque that might develop on it. I call it kind of think of it as scum busters, um, skin and gum. And that would be a really neat thing to do. Now, nobody really wants to think about having microbes on their skin or in their gums, but there's a way to possibly genetically engineer them where we inactivate the really un tenable or uncomfortable things in the organism, while at the same time keeping a specific functionality where the organism does just that particular activity. Or we might be able to even do some kind of gene sequencing and find out what protein they use and exploit to really tear up, you know, debris and to eradicate um, plaque and then use that as a sort of implant or device that in and of itself can replicate that same function.